How does technology influence sexting and long-distance relationships? Is it possible to overcome sexual dysfunction over time? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Technology has enabled sexting, or the sending of sexual messages and content through electronic devices, and has facilitated long-distance relationships. It can maintain intimacy and connection between geographically separated couples. In many cases, it is possible to overcome sexual dysfunction over time with the right help. Approaches such as sexual therapy, medical treatments, lifestyle changes, open communication, and sexual education can be effective. Patients and seeking professional help are key to addressing underlying causes and improving sexual function. Reducing pressure. By allowing couples to seek sexual satisfaction outside the primary relationship, open relationships can reduce the pressure on a single individual to meet all their partner's needs. Relationship with erectile. Dysfunction. Premature ejaculation and erectile dysfunction are often related, and some individuals may experience both conditions simultaneously. Reproductive health. Sexuality is also related to reproductive health, which includes family planning, access to contraceptives, and prenatal care. Screening tests. Regular STD screening tests are important, especially for sexually active individuals or those with multiple sexual partners, as many STDs can be present without obvious symptoms. Self-diagnosis. While it's important to be aware of premature ejaculation symptoms, self-diagnosis may not be accurate, as it's necessary to evaluate the problem in consultation with a healthcare professional. Sexual and gender identity. Diversity. Human sexuality is diverse and complex, and individuals may identify with a wide range of sexual and gender identities, including heterosexual, gay, lesbian, bisexual, queer, transgender, among others. Sexual education. Comprehensive sexual education in schools and communities plays a crucial role in STD prevention by providing accurate information about safe sex, condom use, and the importance of regular testing. Sexual fantasies. Many women turn to sexual fantasies during masturbation to increase excitement and pleasure. These fantasies can vary widely and may include erotic situations, locations, or imaginary individuals. Sexual pleasure. Sex is not just about reproduction, but also about pleasure and emotional connection. Pursuing sexual pleasure can be an important part of the human experience and contribute to emotional and physical well-being. Sexual therapy. Sexual therapy, involving working with a therapist specialized in sexual issues, can be effective in addressing underlying emotional and psychological concerns related to premature ejaculation. Sexuality in literature. Sexuality has been a recurring theme in literature throughout history, from classic works to contemporary novels, exploring a wide range of experiences and perspectives. Sexually transmitted diseases can affect people of all ages, races, sexual orientations, and genders. They do not discriminate and can affect anyone who engages in unprotected sexual activity. Shower positions. Some women enjoy the intimacy provided by sexual positions in the shower, such as standing against the wall or the waterfall position, adding an element of adventure to the encounter. In Singapore, a comprehensive approach to sexual education covering topics such as mental health, interpersonal relationships, and decision-making is implemented, aiming to promote holistic development of young people. In certain African countries like South Africa and Botswana, Specific sex education programs have been created for people with disabilities, recognizing the importance of addressing their unique health and sexuality needs. Standing positions. Although less common, some women enjoy standing sexual positions, such as against the wall or leaning standing, which can add an element of adventure and risk to the sexual experience. 
In countries like Sweden and Finland, sexual education policies based on the positive sexual health approach have been implemented, promoting sexual well-being, autonomy, and respect for diversity. Teeth fetishism. Some people find sexual arousal towards teeth, either admiring the aesthetic appearance of a partner's teeth or engaging in erotic activities involving teeth. The health benefits of sexual activity. Consensual and pleasurable sexual activity can have numerous health benefits, including stress reduction, strengthening the immune system, and improving mood. The importance of consent. Mutual and voluntary consent is fundamental in any sexual activity. People have the right to give or withdraw their consent at any time, and any sexual activity without consent is considered sexual assault. The influence of religion on sexuality. Religious teachings and moral norms can have a significant impact on people's sexuality, potentially causing internal conflicts between religious beliefs and individual sexual desires. The power of eroticism in creativity. Eroticism is not limited to sexual activity. It can also fuel artistic and literary creativity. Many artists have found inspiration in sexual themes to create meaningful and expressive works. The role of fantasy in sexuality. Sexual fantasies are common and can be a healthy part of a person's sexual life. Exploring fantasies consensually and safely can add variety and excitement to sexual life. Time of day. Women's preferences for sexual positions may vary depending on the time of day, with some feeling more energized and adventurous in the morning, while others prefer the intimacy of nighttime encounters. Toys for G-spot stimulation. Some vibrators are designed with a specific curvature to stimulate the G-spot, a highly erogenous zone on the front wall of the vagina, which can provide more intense and pleasurable orgasms. Treatments. There are several treatment approaches for premature ejaculation, ranging from psychological therapies and ejaculation control techniques to medications and desensitizing topical creams. Trichomoniasis. It is one of the most common STDs, caused by the protozoan parasite Trichomonas vaginalis and can cause vaginal discharge, itching, and pain during urination. Use of condoms. For some men, using condoms can help reduce penile sensitivity and thus delay ejaculation. However, for others, it may have the opposite effect. Variability in preferences. Masturbation preferences and techniques can vary widely among women, and what works for one may not be effective for another. It's important to experiment and discover what feels best for each individual. Variety of genres. There is a wide variety of genres and categories of pornography, ranging from conventional to extreme, allowing viewers to find content that suits their sexual preferences. Vibrating toys. Vibrators were invented in the late 19th century as medical devices to treat female hysteria. Over time, they evolved to become widely popular sex toys for both women and men. Virtual reality toys. With advances in virtual reality technology, sex toys have emerged that synchronize with virtual content to provide an immersive sensory experience during masturbation. Voice fetishism. For some individuals, their partner's voice can be an object of sexual desire, known as voice fetishism. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality,